Hey guys, I'm here in the shop today. I'm going to work on my 2011 Skag Turf Tiger. It needs the front wheel bearings replaced on it. I bought it about 10 months ago, and when I greased the front wheel bearings, I noticed that some rusty water came out of them, and I knew eventually they'd need to be replaced. And today's that day. So here it is. It's got the 29 horsepower fuel injected Kawasaki. So I'm going to start by jacking up the machine. So I've got two three quarter inch wrenches and we'll start with taking this bolt off right here. What I want to show you is the play that we have here in the bearing. We don't want that. Spacer. Okay, so I got the old parts off here and the wheels on the bench. The bearing is still inside of it. Got the spacers here. The old nut. The old bolt that I'm obviously going to have to replace for beating on it. And the uh, spacer tube here in the middle with my impact piece still stuck in it. But it shouldn't be too hard to remove that. And here's the new seals. A new bearing and the new spacers that ride here on the seals. And here's the receipt. And it all came to just under $85. Okay, my next step is to go ahead and remove these seals. They're on both sides. And I will be doing both wheels, but I'm only going to show you the one. I had this old tool. I'm not sure what it what it was, but it had a rubber uh, stop on it. I think it was for doing some tire work, but um, it's broke and it works good for pulling seals usually. I'm not reusing it, so I don't care if I damage it. And then I can go ahead and pull out the old wheel bearing, and the race is still down in there. That's something I'm going to have to work on here in a minute when I get all that grease cleaned out. That old grease cleaned out of there, ready for your new grease. It's a pretty messy job, so plan on having plenty of towels or rags handy. Now my tools are covered in grease. <clears throat> nice way to clean these off is with a paper towel and some brake cleaner.
All right, and here's a shot of the new bearing and the old bearing. I've got it pinched together right here. Let's see how tight that is. See right here, I've got it pinched together how tight it is there. I'm surprised that this outer race is actually intact on the bearing. As loose as they were, I thought it was going to be more damaged. But, but there's the difference in the two of them. And now I can go ahead and install this new outer race for the bearing. I wasn't sure how far that had to be set in there, because the other ones are in there about an inch. But you can see right here along the outside there's some dimples. Those dimples actually stop the bearing from going in too far. There's another one. So I'll just set it on there and I'll find a socket that's the right size and I'll pound it in. Okay, so I found a couple sockets that fit the outer race. One's a 30 millimeter and 33 millimeter. They fit around there nicely. So I'll try this 33 millimeter first and see if I can get it to go in straight and seat down where we need it. Looks like it fits still. It sounds like it's seated against the the dimples, so that one should be all set. All right, so I put some gloves on now. I should have done that a while ago. I underestimated how messy this job was going to be, but I'm gonna go ahead and pack these wheel bearings. And if you don't have a bearing packer, this technique works pretty well. Get yourself a nice handful of grease. What you want to do is take it on this larger side and press the grease through until it comes out the other side, the smaller side. So I take a little bit at a time. Alright, so I wasn't able to finish filming the bearing packing because my memory was full on my camera, but it's a pretty boring task anyways to watch. And I don't know if you can see it, but what I was trying to do is get the grease to come up in between the rollers. And I may be able to see it shine a little bit in there, or maybe not, but it's in there. So now that I've got the bearings packed, and I've got the braces in, i go ahead and install them in the seals. So I'll just drop one in. Grab my seal. I don't want to pound it in with a hammer because it wouldn't you know, go in very evenly. So I've got this. It's a tool for... Uh, I think it's the front spindles or something on the four-wheel drives of the Fords. It's got a nice flat surface to work with. I just put this extension in here so I can hit it. You could use a block of wood or something, but this works pretty well for me. And now it's seated and smooth all the way around. I got my shaft here. I had uh, some mushrooming on that so I went and ground it off. I'll set that in there. Looks like it actually rides inside of the bearing. My little seal driver is sitting on the shaft there, so I'll use the socket, it'll ride around the rim of it. There you go, nice and smooth. Set the seal spacers in. There we go. New seals, bearings, and spacers. And a new bolt. I went up to the tractor supply company and they didn't have this long of a bolt. So I got these from a different store. They're 
These are nine inch bolts. These are around nine and a half inch. And it's not as long, but it should do the job. And I got some new nuts. I got them for both sides because I assume that I'm going to damage the other one as well as this one. Okay, now I've got the wheel assembly all put back together. Wipe off some of this old grease and dirt. I had to take the center shaft here back out because the, when I tried to jam the bolt through it, there was some rusty material inside and the bolt didn't want to go through. So I jammed the bolt back and forth through there a few times, cleaned it out with some brake cleaner, and then I put some anti seize there on the bolt. So hopefully this doesn't happen again. All right. Bolts in, I'll just tighten it back down. You probably tighten it about as tight as you want because that spacer isn't going to let you over tighten on the wheel bearings. Oh, I was wrong, you need to loosen it a little bit. There you go. Spins nice and free. No more play. Ready to go. Well, I hope this video was helpful. If there's anything you'd like to see in the future, just leave it down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks.